Welcome back to Kimchi Rednecks. I've got a, uh, a Vivor usage tip for you here. So I'm putting this out there because even though I at least like to think I'm smarter than the average rutabaga, um, I used this kit for like six months before I figured this out. So when you get your kit, it comes with this, the default little condenser coil. And if you were like me, all you did was plug this in, let it fill up, and it starts draining out of the return line, which it'll it do eventually here. Yeah. And so any second here, we should start getting some water back out of the coil. But, but under just gravity, that's an anemic little flow. And if you notice here, we're very quickly approaching the top of the bucket. So, unplug that for a second. If you're anything like I was doing, I was in here, and Melissa can vouch for that, for hours on end as this ran, you know, fiddling with the valve here to either restrict the input if it was coming in too fast, or opening it back up if the water was getting too low on the coils. The brain wave that I had after like six months of usage, if you're forcing water in through the bottom, you have to force the water out of the top. All you've got to do is pull a simple vacuum or siphon a little bit of water out through the top hose. So we'll turn that back on. All right, so as you can see here, we are now covering the top of the output line there, and we're approaching the top. If you pull a little siphon on it, you get a much steadier flow of water. But now all you gotta do is a little balance on your input valve, and you should have a much easier to maintain ratio of water in and out. There's your, there's your tech tip. If you can manage to balance the water in from the pump set on low and pull a vacuum on the return line and then use the ball valve on the input to adjust the flow rate, you can balance them and then you will never have to touch it again. It'll run the entire run without you having to fiddle faddle with anything and you can actually sit down which is a great thing because my knees hurt after a couple hours of standing here doing that number but that's it for today guys it's just a quick tip something i thought of that other people might want to know because there might be other people out there doing the same thing i was doing so like subscribe do the internet stuff see the bias coffee link below and we will see y'all next time